It's just a pass through. All right, see you later. I'll meet you at the car. Bye. Today we're at Pinnacles National Park. Yes. A national park that I did not even know existed. I never heard of it either. <laughs> and it's only 30 minutes from the Thousand Trails. Yeah, and that's the only reason we knew that it was here is because we were searching for things to do around here. And turns out there's a national park 30 minutes down the road. So we're gonna do a couple trails today. First, we're gonna do the Condor Gulch Trail, which takes us up to a viewpoint, Yeah. which is supposed to be very cool. And then we'll come back and we'll do the Bear Gulch Trail, which takes us down to supposedly a reservoir, but if it's got water. so dry this year, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know there's gonna be water down there, <laughs> but we'll go down there anyway and check it out. So um, we we hit the trifecta today too. We have our hiking shoes, we have water, and we have, we have hiking sticks. Our sticks, yeah. just in case, because there is wildlife out here. It's warm today, warmer than it's been for the past week or so yeah so there's a chance 75. we could see some snakes or yeah. some other things and it looks very hilly and we we yeah. want the sticks for leverage to help get up that too uh, but just in case we run into a bobcat or a mountain lion or, they have condors out condors. here too i would love to see a condor i don't think we're going to see a condor because they said yeah. you're more likely to see them early morning or late evening mm -hmm. and it's really warm out today but if Never we do see a condor, that'd be awesome because their yeah. wingspan is like 10 feet long. Yeah. So we'll know right away if it's a condor or not. Yeah. I don't think Scout would be a big fan of the condors. No, he would not like this place <laughs> at all. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, Scout is our bearded dragon that we travel with. Really cool dude, but he hates birds of prey birds. because yeah. <laughs> that's his main predator. Anyway, we're going to get to hiking. We'll show you what we see. Yeah. We're going down this trail. And then you don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bay trail all the way up there. We're going all the way up there. Yeah up into this area where there's a cool supposed to be a cool viewpoint so we'll see yeah So I, you're probably wondering why earlier in the video when we were talking about bringing water and hiking shoes and sticks that there a little asterisk popped up and that's because when I said we brought water uh, we brought a water <laughs> so I feel like I'm being attacked <laughs> so Leslie packed for her thirst I did. and not mine because she can go like 19 miles on a bottle and drink like this much water <laughs> i am to the top of this and he wants to down and it. i want to drink the whole bottle <laughs> and i know that we got the rest of the day of hiking to go so but, i'm gonna need like four waters yeah but when we get back down and go to the next trail i think there might be a water refill station and we can just fill your water back up that was not your thought process when you packed water no that today. wasn't my thought process <laughs> but it is now <laughs> Well, I felt like I felt pressured. I felt peer pressured into saving some water, even though I'm super thirsty. Save that much water? Yeah, I. That was just a couple of swigs. Jeez, that's a couple of swigs. I'm still so thirsty, but I felt like I was being bullied into saving some, and she's all fully refreshed. That's my water. Fully refreshed. <laughs> ready to go down. Jeez. I'm yeah, I think there's a condor up there flying. Is there? I'll have to turn oh, around. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go see if I can get him on film. I was right. You, no, don't, don't try <laughs> to act like I was just right. You got lucky. Lucky they got a field station. Uh -huh. I'm very picky. You are very picky. I like my Berkey water. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we said we were never gonna be Berkey people. Now I'm like full on Berkey, man. You went full team Berkey. You're never supposed to go full Berkey, <laughs> but I did. So we went up to the top of the the viewpoint up there and uh i thought i saw a condor it was like a bird that was like what do you call it gliding Glide. <laughs> stumped you uh, gliding if i was properly hydrated i could think properly oh, please. and so i don't think it was a condor just because it didn't look that big even yeah. though it was really far away so it might have been maybe Could've. it was a juvenile condor maybe i went to go get my long lens on i didn't get it on fast enough no. To get a shot of the condor. Again, if I were properly <laughs> hydrated, I probably would have been moving a little faster. Now that I can say is a lie. And been able to get that's some a, condor footage. So it's all Leslie's fault that you haven't seen a condor That's a full lie today. because 
There has to be flames in your ass to halt, to get you moving. <clears throat> like when I say, oh, hurry, before this walks away, and you're like taking forever, and you're like, I'm as fast as I can go. I don't want to drop the lens. I have to be delicate. If I go too fast, I'll drop a lens, and then nobody gets anything. <laughs> then will you be happy? When nobody gets to see anything cool? I wouldn't drop the lens. You should just let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got lucky. You, yeah, I did. Well, this has easily got to be one of the most underrated national parks. And overlooked, yeah, because I never heard of it. I never heard of it either, <laughs> but I mean, it's amazing. We haven't been to a lot of national parks, no. but I mean, yeah, it's worth it, man. Yeah. Pinnacles. Put yeah. it on your list. Absolutely. It's in the middle of nowhere. Where? I mean, and there's not a lot of, you know, options for camping around here other than the Thousand Trails. There's a couple of RV parks that we saw, you know, but it yeah. is middle of nowhere, but it's worth coming out but here. it's worth going to the middle of nowhere. It is. Definitely Gorgeous. worth coming out here. Jeez, man. Yeah. I'm just blown away. Yeah. Blown away. It's gorgeous. Right. Love it. It's just a pass through. Alright, see you later. I'll meet you at the car. Bye. Holy crap, man. I was tight. I was, we were on our hands and knees I was, at one I got, point. I got sawed I had to get my own, I had to put the camera away because I had to get my own flashlight out because it was just so, so dark. if one flashlight goes out, it's pitch black. God. And she was in front of me so I couldn't see anything. Some of it has like water in it. And so I had to take my backpack off because I couldn't fit through with my backpack on. So we were like literally crawling our hands and knees through these caves. Luckily they have these arrows that just tell you where to go, otherwise... You wouldn't know you went. Oh my gosh, you'd just be lost in here. Yeah. Oh, it's scary even knowing the way, it's scary. Yeah. It's freaky. my god it was well worth crawling through the cave on our hands and knees this is this the is payoff man beautiful. holy crap this looks like something out of a dang movie or something yeah the way it's just it doesn't rippling. even look real it's so yeah. freaking beautiful oh, yeah man. i'm glad we climbed through there yeah this is gorgeous i mean the whole 360 i'll give you a 360 view yeah. here in a second but everywhere you look birds are chirping it's so it cool. is beautiful the perfect day to be out here too the perfect oh, time of day to time. be out here too yeah, where because the sun is the sun's go hitting the water soon. it was bouncing off that rock down there that's balanced in between the the, 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 the cave walls it's gorgeous. oh man definitely glad we came to pinnacles yes this is a great idea i had yeah <laughs> I'm so glad you came up with coming here today. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> All right. Steal people's ideas? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you the 360. It's amazing. Well, we're headed back now to the truck. Uh, we're gonna bypass the cave. We're not going back through the cave. <laughs> I don't think my knees could handle it. <laughs> no, it was pretty tight, but there is a cut around. Uh, it's, it's a little bit farther Just a little bit. to go that way. But we're gonna go that way and uh, really couldn't think of a better spot to finish up the video no. than right here. I don't think we're gonna see anything much different on the way back. So 
I would love to see the sunset from here. It would be amazing. But I don't want to be trapped in here. <laughs> yeah, the park closes at dawn and I don't want to risk that. So, uh, at dusk. At uh, dusk. Anyway, opens at dawn, yeah. ends at dusk. <laughs> I'm, uh, tired. You're dehydrated. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, hey, stick around for a couple seconds and help us honor this fallen hero. Um, if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Uh, we appreciate you hanging out with us here at Pinnacles today. Awesome time. If you get a chance, definitely oh, come. Oh, definitely come if you're in the area. Yeah, we'll probably come back a couple more times while we're here. Man. <laughs> yeah, this it's, it's a big park. Yeah, and there's more trails. So, and there um, is camping here. So yeah. That was interesting. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.